this industry, I'm going to discuss what how to check GUID is empty or null in Csaw.net. So let's understand by example. So and here I'm going to write the GUID. So if you take the cursor, so this is the struct, and here it comes under system GUID, and here this is the of uh, definition represents a global globally unique identifier so in my last video i discussed some points about the guid now here after creating the object and here g1 now here after let's use guid so if you uh, press start so and here you can find uh, at this point new guid so add here about the new GID. So initialize new instance of GUID structure. So this is about new GUID. Now here after I'm going to write to console clause dot right line method and here going to pass G1. And here after so if you execute to this good so add here so it's currently running now here after you can find some unique value of here now here after i'm going to do one more thing so here i am going to write console cross dot to write the line method again and here in double code going to write empty empty and here colon and here zero and zero so add here zero is the place holder now here after g1 double equal to guid so guid if you press dot so add here you can find empty so about the empty so i read only instance of the GUID structure whose value is all zero. So add here G1 values, G1 has some values not comparing with the add here empty. So if this condition is true, then that to return something. So let's execute that. So uh, see add here first. So add here it has a uh, G1 has to this value and G1 try to compare with the null or zero values. Okay, so this condition is not matched. So, so in this place that return false. Now here after I'm going to do one more thing. Byte. So here byte. So this should be array time and here uh, giving the name B1. And here creating the object. So B1 is the object and here going to use byte again. B Y T A. -E. And here uh, giving the size at this point to 15. So 15 is the size. Now here after writing GUID and here creating the object G2. And here new GUID and here passing B1 at this point. So B1 I'm going to pass. And here after a uh, console class chart to write to of line method and here giving value g2 so and you're going to print the value g2 at this point so and here i'm getting some kind of exception okay let's uh, fix that byte array of guid must be exactly 16 byte long so and here it must be 16 byte long so here we should keep the size 16. Okay. Now if you execute to again. So here. So first uh, that point to uh, this to uh, display this to now here. Uh, and here this is a display G2. So at here G2 value all 0 it's a display. Now here after the next thing is. Let's uh, add it just copy that one and paste it down and here simply do modification right to G2 
add your g2 equal to guid so add your g2 value is no when i executed the value was 0 add your guid so it also return all 0 value so this value and this value all true so add your this term or oh, first that return all g g2 value 0 add your this condition is true so add your empty to that return so add your empty and to that return so if you directly use or oh, g2 at this point and if you didn't use the add here or new gid then the value initially that to return empty or zero so this the code to check add here gid is empty or null in this of dot net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you